849 is your time now. Surveys determining salaries. Experts say performance-based pay could be the wave of the future where commission-based earning is standard. And we're not just talking about housekeepers and customer service representatives. This is even extending into the medical field here. Some doctors and hospitals are now being rewarded and penalized based on a patient's experience and satisfaction. That brings us to today's hot topic question. Is it fair to apply performance pay to any line of work? And we want to bring in Elise for this discussion. Wow, mm. interesting. Yeah, I mean, you don't really think of doctors as, as you know, having that play such a big role in what they get paid. I had no yeah. idea. I think it's kind of interesting, though. Yeah, I mean, it is. because I'm sure there are some doctors out there that don't have that good, solid patient. Mm -hmm. Sure. Working, you know, but they're still good doctors. But they're, they, yeah. or maybe they're not. But, right. but the, the, I mean, if the patient, I don't know, if the patient has that much say in it, I kind of think that that might be good in that field. Now, does it work in every field? Right. I don't think it does. But I think that's kind of an interesting way to to apply it just simply to the medical field yeah, is to look true. more at the patients. Hmm. Well, you know, being a former professional athlete, uh, it was all performance based. Yeah. That's how you got paid. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, even coming up through the minor leagues, when you go up through the ranks, you actually get an increase in pay. Now, it's not as much as actually being in the big leagues, but um, the payoff is if you do well, you get paid well. So I'm kind of used to the performance-based pay, but in the workplace, uh, you know, say like here at the station, I mean, I mean things happen. I mean, I believe salaried employees, uh, to me, are very important. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. sure, sure. Well, and I'm kind of thinking more about doctors, too. So what if a doctor, Buck's not here, once again, we have to play devil's <laughs> yeah. advocate. Say it's a doctor who's not mm -hmm. prescribing pain pills like the patients mm -hmm. are wanting, right. and they could yeah. go on any of those sites or fill out a survey and, and give them a poor, he or she a poor, you know, recommendation because of that. So I, it's, I don't it's know how you to, could, yeah, how you could to really standardize. Sure. I can't yeah, imagine yeah. in every it's business it would work. Be tough. Yeah. It's interesting Thank to see you. it catching on though. And oh yeah. More and more people are doing it. So I'm interested to see what other people have to say. If it's something that they do already at your employer, and you know, <laughs> yeah. maybe it's something you can enlighten yeah. us on this morning. Well, yeah, maybe we need to fill out these surveys that they send yeah. us. Yeah. I tend to kind of, you know, click through those if I get them an email, but mm -hmm. they're more important than I thought, apparently. That's for sure. Yeah. We want to know what you think about this. Join our discussion. Post your thoughts on our Facebook page, Fox 5 Atlanta, or tweet us at Good Day Atlanta. We'll share some of those comments in the 9 o'clock hour of Good Day Atlanta. The time now is 8.51 and coming up on Good Day